am definitely at SeaWorld Orlando. I'm here to give you some pipeline updates as well as updates on their newest coaster that has not been revealed yet. There's some major construction taking place and I'm here to update you with the latest on what is happening behind the scenes. Let's go check out a day at SeaWorld Orlando. It's been a while since I've been here so they have painted this building and they do have the pipeline coaster there on the tracks. And another in the station it looks like. This coaster looks absolutely gorgeous. Let's head inside. We're here at the entrance of SeaWorld Orlando and you can see Pipeline looking beautiful at the entrance. I do hope they eventually upgrade this fence to be something else. Maybe some surfboards? Like a line of surfboards? That'd be a cool fence. This coaster has been seen to be testing previously. I don't think I've seen it testing while we've been parking and walking to the entrance, but let's see if uh, we can get lucky and watch it being tested today. Waiting in line to do the Kraken, and there's like nobody here. And it's like 11 o'clock. There's just nobody here. All right, time to do the Kraken, front row. All right, just got off Kraken, and now we're going to Pacific Point, but the way you get to it right now is through this back door for ambassadors only because the other way is under construction. So it's very cool seeing behind the scenes over here. And of course there's cracking up there. Not really seeing anything interesting behind these fence. See, there were parking spots here before they put up these fences. And this is where they service the cracking trains. This is where the walls start over here, so they're building, you know, some coaster back there. I'm not sure the details of it, but it's going to be a new coaster, probably for 2024. Oh, look at these seals. Just picturesque there, sun tanning. Oh, hi. <laughs> oh, adorable. Walking up a little bit higher here to see if I can get a better view of that construction. Alright, so we're at the top of the sea line area. And I can already see there's some extensive progress going on over here. Let's see how close we can get. So this is where the former Emperor Dark Ride was. And you can just see that they have been tearing up trees, pathways maybe. I see some concrete there broken up. And just this whole area is under construction. Look at that. And allegedly, the coaster's gonna come out to here or something like that. And then maybe go that way. Here's a little bit of a better view of the construction. So you can see, just look how much they've cleared out. That's incredible. The only reason why I'm able to show you this is because I'm a little tall. Alright, so we're going to do Manta up next. I'm going to try and get some aerial views because I did bring my secure GoPro. Uh, so I'm going to see if I can view the area from Manta. And if I'm able to, I'll insert some video here. Alright, we're going to go into this wild arctic area. See if we can see anything. So far, not seeing anything under construction in this part for the penguins extends quite far so everybody's just flocking here but let's check out this construction progress up ahead so I don't want to get too close because the team members only up ahead but can't really see much from this angle I'll have to get another angle all right as we head our way to Manta finally we can see more construction walls over here some of these trees have been stripped, so some sort of construction is going to go on behind these walls. I'm not sure what. I really don't know what the details are for this ride. Just that it is most likely going to be a coaster. <laughs> some additional construction walls as we make our way to Icebreaker now. So, a little quick service, you know, dip and dots place over here, and then to the left is some of the walls. Just see more of the construction walls over here, so maybe the coaster is just going to take up all this space and 
it's a decent sized footprint, so uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. By the way, the uh, Sea Lion and Otter shows up ahead for reference as to where we are. Seeing a pretty good access point for a new view of the construction area. I think this is one of their Halloween mazes over there. And this is the construction. They're taking out all the trees right now. I don't see any coaster footings installed yet, so we'll have to check back in a few months. You can see the coaster is probably going to go pretty close to Manta over there, which is how far this construction goes. So that will probably make it an interesting coaster when those two interact together. Some great views if you can time it right. I hope they do theme like the back of this building here, if the coaster's gonna go here, cause uh, it's not the best looking back sides of a building. It's a little bit too windy today for the Sky Tower to be running, so it's just up there in the middle, just being beautiful. It's kinda nice, they're having the fountains on today, and it's a perfect day because it's so windy, the fountains are making a lot of water grow up and the wind is blowing it away. Oh, the fountains are even going on this side. Wow, they're doing something Epcot never did, is have their fountains run during the day. And of course over here is Icebreaker, which we're heading over to do. It's going to be Crystal's first time on it. It's a pretty fun coaster. Magnum Force, or Steel Magnum, I think it's called. It's been, we, we only went to Cedar Point like the one, so yeah, I think it's that. But, uh, I, great coaster, you know, the line was the longest for that one, obviously, it was brand new. Stop by one of the stores to check out the lounge fly that they got. Looks okay, honestly. Doesn't look the best. I don't know that it's worth 90 bucks, personally, for basically just this logo. And then they have some vintage character plushes here. It's two for 60. Here's what they all look like. And then, you know, here's a quick overview. Dolly the Dolphin, I think, looks the cutest, maybe, or Seymour. And then here's some other merch with their other vintage characters. They got, like, mugs, sweaters. The sweater's 60 bucks. So definitely raising the prices on merch, it seems like. So that's it for today's video. Just a short little construction update day. Did a couple coasters, didn't you know share them all here. But uh, yeah, with that being said, if you want more construction updates here at SeaWorld, as well as probably the grand opening of Pipeline, be sure to subscribe. I'll see you guys later.